everybody, welcome back. We are going to take a quick look today at turning a factor or a categorical variable into a sequence of dummy variables in our studio. So let's take a look. All right, so let's imagine we have a data set like we see here, obviously. We just made this up for the purposes of the example, but we have a continuous y variable eight observations here, a continuous x variable. Imagine we're running different uh, lemonade stands, right? So y is keeping track of what we sell. X is the price per glass of lemonade. Then we have that third variable, this variable labeled f, that is a categorical or factor variable that takes on a limited number of values, each of which is a coded outcome for a certain condition. Just for example here, it might be uh, a geographic variable, right? So when f is equal to 1, we're in neighborhood 1. Equal to 2, we're in neighborhood 2, etc. Or 1 is a sunny day, 2 is a rainy day, 3 is a cloudy day. Whatever the case may be, these types of variables show up all the time in uh, regression models via, uh, via cross-sectional time series panel data. And the problem, of course, is we can't estimate a model with that categorical coded outcome variable as it is, because we don't know what it means when it goes up one unit or down one unit. So a slope coefficient or a marginal effect is gonna be impossible to interpret. So what we need to do is create a sequence of dummy variables like we see here. So a dummy variable is gonna control for the impact of being in one category within that factor variable versus some baseline or comparison category. So what we're going to do now is flip over to our studio and what we see here is those same initial variables, the y, the x, and the categorical f variable. So imagine if we're not really thinking about it, right, and we just want to jump right in and run a regression, right, so we would use that linear model, y as a function of x and f, and we will indicate that the data is coming from this data frame called factor, and we get a coefficient, slope coefficient for x, and this slope coefficient for f. But again, we have no way of interpreting what that value means. So it seems like a good idea to control for weather or geography or whatever the case may be, but this is not the way to do it. So if we use the structure command applied to our example data set here, and perhaps, uh, unfortunately, I chose the, the name of the data frame factor, which is also kind of the topic uh, of what we're doing, but that's what that refers to, right? And what we see, of course, is all of our variables from counting for observations, the y, the x, and the f, are being read as continuous numeric values. So all we need to do is ask politely, r, to treat this variable f instead of numeric as categorical. So then a one unit change is going to be going from one category to another. So cut to the chase. The way we do that is with the as factor uh, command. So we first refer to the variable in question, and I haven't attached the data frame, so we'll use the name of the data frame, factor, dollar sign, and then the name of the variable, so that's the variable we're referring to, and that needs to take on this factor or categorical definition. So it's as dot factor, and then the name of the variable again. So data frame, factor, dollar sign, and the name of the variable. And now we apply that structure command again, and we see what we wanted there is that variable f is treated now as a factor or categorical variable. So if we call back up the little regression command, now we see a coefficient on x and a coefficient on the category two dummy variable that's automatically been named for us as f2, and that dummy shift coefficient on that third category. So mission accomplished, we can now interpret that. One last thing, that we might want to think about is uh, making these categories easier to interpret, easier to read by labeling them, right? 
So this we can do uh, fairly easily as well with the levels command. So we want to have our variable of interest, again, our variable f, so factor f. And we want to apply the names that we put into this little vector. So we go C, parentheses, and then in quotes and separated by commas, the names of each category. So again, we're just making this up, but imagine category one was a sunny day trying to sell lemonades. So sunny in parentheses. Category two is a cloudy day. There we go. And category three is a rainy day. So now we call back up our regression, and we have the impact of trying to sell lemonade on a cloudy day versus a rainy day relative to a sunny day. Now we can easily interpret those coefficients. So obviously a lot more uh, we could be doing here, but that'll get you started transforming those factor variables, those categories into dummy variables that are easy to interpret. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.